Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 75. Day, day 3000, day 3075, 3 is to indicate the fact that we are in the third edition, third edition, day 75, we are on page number 272, uh, 282, and we are about to do problem number 12 and 13, two problems dealing with circles. Let's get going. Number 12 looks something like this. We are told that we have a circle with radius with radius 4. So let's draw a circle and we are given so we are given a little slice, a slice of 40 degrees. So let's look at the center, here is our center and let's just draw a slice of 40 degrees. That looks like 40 degrees to me. And we have an arc here, arc A, B, C. And this is center O that we are told. Center is located at point O. And that's all we are, that's all we are told, that's all we have. Let's see what they're looking for. The first thing we're looking for is circumference. Circumference of the circle, let's call it C. Circumference, as we all know, is simply 2 times pi times r. 2 times pi times r. Oh, there is the R. I was going to say we don't have the radius. We have the radius. The radius is 4. So that's it. 2 times pi times R is just 8, eight pi. Circumference is equal to 8 pi. Or approximately 24. Approximately 24 because I'm approximating pi as 3. The next thing we have to, we have to answer is the length of R. length of arc A, B, C arc A, B, C this is how we indicate arc and so if somebody says A, C and they have a symbol on top of it like this curve they are talking about the arc A, C typically we put one more point in there why do we need to put one more point? why can't we simply say arc A, C? that's a very interesting point why can't, why can't we just label it as arc A, C? why do we need this? Point. Why do we need, need to indicate one more point in, in the middle? Do you know? We need that point because it tells us R going in which direction? Clockwise or the anticlockwise? Because if we were to go from C and go around it, that's also an arc. That's not the arc we're talking about. We're talking about the smaller arc here going, which is why the point in the middle tells us which directions we're going. Do you understand? So that was enough of that. Length of arc ABC. How are we going to find this? Well, we're going to set it up as a proportion problem. Set it up as a proportion problem. So we have the length over degree as a ratio of length and degrees. And we know the length of the entire circle. Length of the entire circle, there's a term for it. What do we call a length, quote unquote, length of a circle? That's the circumference length of the entire circle, which is the circumference, we just found out a little while ago, it's 8 pi. And if you were to go the entire circle, we'll end up traveling 360 degrees. So 360 degrees encompasses 8 pi, the distance of 8 pi. We don't have 360 degrees, we only have 40 degrees. So the question now is, what is the distance from A to C? What is this distance? And that equation will do the job. Cross multiply instead of cross multiplying, let's multiply both sides of the equation by 40, let's multiply this side of the equation by 40, and let's multiply this side of the equation by 40, 40 is going to drop out, and we're just left with x. So x is equal to 40 times 8 pi over 360, over 360, and watch what's going to happen. We could reduce 360 with 8, but I'm going to work with 40 here for a reason you'll see in a second. Let's first divide top and bottom by 10. If we divide top and bottom by 10, we can knock out this zero. 
And at this point we could use 36 and 8, but we're not going to. We're going to use the A4 here, and I'll tell you in a second why. So how many four does 36 have? 36 is made up of 9 fours. What do we notice? What we notice is that the distance that we're looking for is the this is the length of the circumference, it's one ninth of the circumference. The distance is one ninth of the circumference. Why is the distance one ninth? Of course it's one ninth because 40 degrees is a ninth of 360. Isn't it? 40 times 10 is 400, therefore 40 times 9 is 360. 40 degrees represents a ninth of a circle and therefore the circumference will be one ninth, or rather the length of the arc will be one ninth of the circumference. That's it. 8 pi over 9. 8 pi over 9. The next thing that we want is the area of the slice. Area of this slice. Part C. Area of the slice. And again, we're going to use the same rationale as, as we just did it, which is the fact that the slice is a ninth of a circle. But we already know the area of the entire circle. We know the area of the entire circle is the ninth of it. That's all. So area of the slice is simply going to be one ninth of the area of the circle. Which we already know and if we did if we didn't know it, we can do it again. One ninth times area of the circle, which is simply two times pi times r, which is four. And that's all. That's our answer. 1 9 times, let me rewrite a little bit better. It is simply 1 9 times area of the circle, which is 2 times pi times r, which is 4. And that's all it is. Since there is nothing we can reduce here, 2 times 4 is 8. 8 times pi, which is the area of the. Uh, 8 times pi which is the area of the entire circle, divided by 9, a ninth of it, that's all. The area of the slice of the pi, did I make a mistake? It's not 2 pi r, area is not 2 pi r, what I was thinking. This is going to be one of the answer choices. This is, for one, this is going to be one of the answer choices. It is for those dummies, it is for those dummies who do not know how to concentrate and how, how, who do not know how to pay attention, such as myself. I cannot believe it. Area of the circle is not 2 pi r. 2 pi r is the circumference. The area of the circle is pi r squared. Area of the circle is pi r squared. Pi r squared. This is the wrong answer. It is the wrong answer, but it is going to be one of the answer choices. It is the second answer. Let's do it again. 1 9 times pi times r squared, which is 4 squared. And 4 squared is 16, so it's 16 9. That's our answer. The area of the slice is 16 9. Let's do the next problem. Problem number 13. Now that now that we have done a bloody good job of making a pig's breakfast of this one. Let's see if we can repeat if we, if we can repeat our performance. Okay, number thirteen. Number thirteen also deals with circle, but here we have two circles, two concentric circles. There is two. Concentric circles, circles rather, with center O, with center O. What does it mean, concentric circle? Concentric circle means they share the same center. They have the same center. Do you understand? So let's draw two, cir two circles with the same center. Here's the first one. And let's draw another one outside. There we go. And here is our center. And that's what we're talking about. And then they give you this ring, which is a shaded region. This is a shaded region right here. And 
And of course, if they're going out of their way to shed, shed this ring, they can ask something about it. Let's see what it is. We are told the radius of the large circle, the radius of the large circle, let's call it the radius of the large circle, We're just going to call it R subscript L. And we are told that is 12. And we're going to use the same notation. Radius of the small circle, we are told, instead of writing everything out, radius of the smaller circle, which, is, which we're going to use as R subscript S, which we are told is 7. First thing we want to find out is the circumference of the large circle. Circumference of the large circle. So, we know that from here to here it is 7 and we know from the center to the all the way to the out is 12. If all the way to the out is 12 from center and this distance is 7 then this distance right here must be 5 and that's what it is. Circumference of the large circle. Circumference of the large circle, let's call it C subscript, subscript L. Circumference of the large circle is just going to be 2 pi r, r, the radius of the large circle, 2 pi r, radius of the large circle, as we can see from here, is 7 plus 5, which is 12. So it's just going to be 2 times 5 times 12, 2 times 12 is 24, so it's just 24 pi. Circumference of the large circle. The circumference of the large circle is simply 24 pi. Next thing they are asking is the area of the small circle. Area of the small circle. An area we know it's not 2 pi r, it's pi r squared. The area of the small circle is pi r squared, which is the radius of the small circle squared. Of course, it's pi r squared and not 2 pi r because it's, a, it's an area, area of anything by definition the unit must be squared. What the bloody hell do you think I was thinking when I put down 2 pi r a little while ago? Is the area, unit has to be squared because it's two dimensional. It's length times width, for example, in the in the case of a square or, or rectangle or something like that. The unit has to be squared. Areas are measured in squared inches, square yards, square feet, square miles, square kilometer. Unit must be squared. How are we going to square the unit if we just have 2 pi r? What the hell was I thinking? So pi r squared pi r squared radius of the small circle is 7 squared so it's just 49 49 pi which is part b which is the area of the small circle area of the small circle the next thing they ask us is the area of the shaded region for that Let's call that part C, even though the book does not call it part C. Part C, they are asking us the area of the shaded region, the area of this ring. But we cannot figure out the area of the ring until we know the area of the large circle and the area of the small circle. We already have, we already have the area of the small circle, but we must know the area of the large circle. So we need, we need to find the area of the large circle so that we can subtract from it the area of the small circle, leaving us with the area of the ring. Let's find the area of the large circle. So area of the large circle again is a subscript L pi r squared. We need the radius of the large circle. The radius of the large circle is 7 plus 5, which is 12, which is going to give us 144 pi. And therefore, and therefore, the area of the ring, the ring that you see there, is simply 144 pi, area of the large circle, 144 pi, minus the area of the small circle, 49 pi. So 
How many pi's do we have? 4 minus 9, 14 minus 9 is going to give us 5, and 13 minus should be 95 pi, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it's 95 pi, of course, uh, because 145 minus 50 would have been 95. We don't have 145 minus 50, we have 144 minus 49, it's the same thing. It's 95 pi. Is that the end of part C? Is that the end of part 13? Yes, it's the end of problem number 13, which means we are done. Tomorrow, and day after tomorrow, two more videos before we finish this geometry part and we begin the data analysis part. We have two more videos, two more lessons. Tomorrow and the day after tomorrow we'll deal with something called rectangular box. We'll do problem number 14, which we will label as 14A, and then we'll do a bonus problem, problem 14B. Why do you ask? Why bonus? Well, because it's your lucky day. That's why. Bye now.